happy Maker Monday, everybody. Today, our Maker project using simple materials you can find around your house is a marble run on the wall. Some people make, hi Gus, some people make marble runs um, in like a tray or the top of a shoe box that you can kind of tilt around, but today we're gonna make one on the wall. We will use cardboard tubes. This one is from a wrapping paper tube. I've got a paper towel tube. I've got a couple of toilet paper tubes. One of them I even cut in half to kind of stretch my materials. I needed a little piece of cardboard to slow down my marble at one point. I, and then I used a cup. You'll also need a marble or another small ball of some kind. If you have like a bouncy ball, that would probably work as well. You will need some scissors and you'll need tape. The kind of tape you use is very important. You'll want to use green or blue painter's tape. This type of tape, yes, it's very important, isn't it, Gus? This type of tape is meant to go on the wall and when you peel it up, it does not take off the paint. This is the kind of tape that you should be using if you stick anything to the wall, okay? Okay, let's see how it works. A marble run is a great demonstration of potential and kinetic energy. When the marble is just sitting here, not rolling, it has what's called potential energy. It's not moving yet, but it might. As soon as I let it go, it has kinetic energy until it comes to rest in the cup. So how do you make it? That is largely up to you. It will take a lot of repositioning of your materials to get the marble to fall where it's supposed to fall and land where it's supposed to land. down you have kinetic energy <laughs> one of my biggest pieces of advice whenever you have a drop like this the marble is rolling and then you want it to fall into a new tube cut a little scoop out of the beginning of that tube so that the marble has a place to fall. I hope you're able to find some of these materials around your house and construct an epic marble run. If you do, I would love to see it. Please take a picture or video and email it to me at easelyes at parkhill.k12.mo.us or you can also send it as a Facebook message. I can't wait to see what you create everybody. Happy making!